Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to talk about the different components of the ring main unit. Now ring main units are one of the crucial component of the ring main distribution system. Without the ring main units or the RMU, we cannot imagine having the ring main distribution system. And in this video, we are going to break down the different components of ring main unit and we'll explain you the use of each and every component. Now before we go and understand the different components, uh, let us first understand a very basic single line diagram of uh, the ring main units. Now ring main unit can have multiple functions. The SLD that you can see on your screen is having three different functions. So this is uh, my function 1, this is my function 2 and this is the third function. Similar way it can have single function, 2 function, 3 function, 4 or 5 as well depending on the requirement. So you can see at the bottom the cables can enter uh, to the ring main units and or can go out of it and then it is connected to a three position switch disconnector why three position you can see the one position is the earth position the current position is the open position and when it closes it is a closed position now switch disconnectors are different than that of the disconnectors Switch disconnectors do have the capabilities to break the normal rated current. It is very important, normal rated current and not the short circuit current. On the other hand, disconnectors, they do not have capabilities to break any sort of current. Let it be uh, the normal current or the abnormal current. They can only operate off load. That is the difference between switch disconnector and disconnector. Now I have already talked about uh, the detailed comparison between switch disconnector, disconnector and circuit breaker. If you are interested, I will put link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. So we have connected uh, the let's say incoming supply to this switch disconnector. Let's say this is my uh, ring main feeder. After that it is going to another switch disconnector and from here let's say the supply is going to maybe some an, another uh, substation that we have. And thirdly, uh, this is a transformer feeder. Now here we have used a circuit breaker and not a switch disconnector and which will be then connected to let's say a transformer and after that a load will be uh, will be feeding a load. You can also notice we have also provided a three position disconnector in series with the circuit breaker. Now this is a disconnector, it's not a switch disconnector. How you can identify that? You can see switch disconnector will have a small circle on top of uh, it. Uh, and the disconnector will not have that and that is how you can identify and uh, to trip the breaker in case of fault we have connected a current transformer here uh, the input of which is given directly to the circuit breaker trip coil that is the single simple single line diagram of uh, the ring main unit and if it is a gas insulated ring main unit then all the switching devices will be placed inside a sealed tank i'll show you the example of that so you can see this is the sealed tank in which all the three functions are clubbed or single function or depending on the different number of functions and all these functions are interconnected by the bus bars within the tank so you can see this uh, copper bus bars which is connect which is helping us connecting the different uh, switching components that we have now this design the tank design will vary based on the different products different manufacturer the architecture of it but generally uh, if you want to remember you can simply put it in this way there will be a tank inside that tank uh, there will be switching components placed under a pressurized gas system like sf6 if it is gas insulated uh, ringman unit clear so now let us go and understand what are the different components now few components we already talked about so switch disconnector circuit breaker disconnector uh, but what are other things that we have in the rmu let us understand that so here you can see a photograph of ringman unit so of course it has a lot many things that we saw in the single line diagram so let us understand that one by one so first uh, we are connecting some supply to it so definitely there will be a cable compartment and this is very crucial part of the ring main unit and it can have a different cable entry type so what you can see is the front cable entry front bottom cable entry there can be a rear cable entry or there can be a side cable entry as well but certainly whatever type of entry it is there will be a cable compartment here the cables will be entered and it will be connected to the tank of switching components that we have so particular this compartment what you can see is for the switch one that we have this one is for switch two and then here what you can see is for let's say circuit breaker or a different switch that we have 
this is very very crucial component because uh, here we will be connecting the external cable to our product and if the joints are not good it can develop hot spot and it can break the insulation and it, it can be an internal arc fault uh, that can happen in the switch gear and that's the worst thing that can happen so it's a very very crucial uh, part of uh, the switch gear now certainly when we are entering the cable we cannot directly connect it with the tank that we have or the switching components that we have we need some sort of medium through which we can connect that cable to our switching parts like circuit breaker or disconnectors and for that we use bushings here you can see this top portion is nothing but the bushing now you cannot see it actually because it is covered with the insulation uh, but uh, the bushings are there there are different types of bushings we have small bushing long bushing intercone outer cone design a lot of things but what you have to remember is you directly cannot connect the cables to the switching components some sort of medium like bushing is used for having a secure connection for that clear so that is the bushing part then moving on uh, you can see we have we have connected switch disconnectors here so these cables are entering and getting connected to our uh, three position switch disconnector that we have let's say this is uh, the incoming feeder ring main feeder is coming and the second switch is used for let's say feeding some other uh, substation or some other uh, load that we have and from here the cables will go out and then it will be connected to some other uh, load that we have thirdly uh, here we are not using a circuit breaker for this particular rma what you can see on your screen we are not using circuit breaker in place of that what we are doing is we are using a switch disconnector with fuse now it will serve the same purpose as the circuit breaker it will help us protecting our most expensive equipment that is transformer but uh, the only difference is circuit breaker is more reliable and you need not to replace the interrupter after every operation but here since we are using a fuse we need to replace the fuse every operation after every operation that is one of the headache that we have but this is a cost effective uh, solution uh, when we compare it with the circuit breaker option uh, but certainly not the reliable solution as the circuit breaker option that we have i'll also show you a circuit breaker architecture in coming slide so this is a switch disconnector with fuse and this is let's say a transformer feeder which will help us in protecting the transformer in case of some abnormal condition that may arrive in the system so that is this five number and then of course this bottom side is the hrc fuse assembly so uh, when a fault occurs the fuse will blow thereby protecting the transformer so you have to go take out that fuse fuse put a new fuse in place of that so that is a definitely a cumbersome process and not uh, uh, very very reliable so this is this portion is basically the hrc fuse assembly portion again i'm telling this uh, the architecture the design will vary based on the different product based on the different manufacturer but basically the components more or less will remain the same clear so moving on next we have uh, on top you can see the low voltage compartment now here all the control wirings will be there all the low voltage components like indicators and things like that will be assembled within uh, this particular top portion section that we have here and inside that there will be different indicators so there will be let's say earth fault indicators uh, there will be relays maybe current and voltage indication and also the vdis system voltage detection system will also be there in this compartment now this vdis system is used to showcase in case if there is system in uh, in case if there is voltage in the system if it shows yes there is voltage then maybe carrying out the maintenance on the switch gear is not a good idea so it's a safety indication that we have and but a very very uh, important indicator so all the indicator parts will be assembled again in the low voltage compartment of the ring main unit then of course as i mentioned if it is a gas insulated switch gear there will be a gas a pressurized gas inside a tank a metal enclosed tank now in case something goes wrong or maybe some fault occurs so there has to be some arrangement to take out that gas or take out that additional pressure from the device and hence uh, you can see a pressure relief arrangement is provided at the uh, bottom now i cannot show you what is inside that but uh, there will be uh, a pressure relief arrangement a pressure relief device which will break when the uh, pressure inside the cubicle increases uh, above a certain limit above a defined limit 
and thereby protecting uh, the switch gear or the persons who are working in the vicinity of that so very very crucial component very very crucial part of the switch gear now all these things we talked about lot of things we talked about cables bushing a uh, tank a low voltage compartment and everything now you cannot have this like open ended placed on a floor right so there has to be a metal enclosures for that so you can see this complete assembly is placed inside a metal enclosure now this is very very important because it supports our tank our switching devices our cables and low voltage compartment also everything is supported by the metal enclosure that we have and this also provides the required ip rating for the device and also if need the ik rating as well will be provided by this metal enclosure so very very important part in case of metal enclosed switch gear and then we also have the bus bar extension option so as i mentioned uh, not necessary the ring main units are of single function or two function or three function it can be more now in case if the requirement comes in future i want to add more functions more switches or more circuit breaker i can use this bus bar extension option so here i can remove this cover i can place another panel connect the two bus bar and extend uh, the panel that i have or maybe if you want to connect a uh, measuring devices metering devices tariff metering you are giving it to some customers uh, that can be connected via this extensibility option that we have now it can be on the right hand side left hand side again uh, will vary based on the design but if you anticipate in future there will be extensions uh, then having this would be beneficial this is a extensible type rmu is also what we can call to this as i mentioned i'll show you the circuit breaker uh, component also so here you can see the example of circuit breaker component here at the bottom uh, a cable is entering you can see the cable is entering uh, this is the bushing you see the brown part that is there that is a bushing outer cone design because it is coming outside of the tank uh, we are connecting our cable via that and then this light brown portion is basically the bus bar which is getting connected to the vacuum bottles that we have now mostly vacuum interrupters are used or vacuum circuit breaker are used so you see r y and b three vacuum bottles are there uh, placed inside a tank a sealed tank which is completely filled with the sf6 gas clear again if it is the sf6 uh, uh, rmu but there are other options also available like sf6 free rmus are available in the market uh, which will not be using sf6 of course and to operate the circuit breaker you can see a circuit breaker operating mechanism is also there which is a spring spring mechanism so that is uh, that is the uh, architecture of the circuit breaker module or circuit breaker feeder uh, that can also be there in the ring main units so now let us quickly summarize what we discussed and what are the different components of ring main units so first we talked about the cable entry that is cable compartment the cables will enter here then there are bushings through which we connect it to the, our uh, switching components that we have then there will be different switching components uh, switch disconnector disconnectors or circuit breaker and then if it is a circuit breaker of course there will be vacuum bottles coming into the picture if it is not if it is uh, with switch disconnector with fuse then you can see a fuse compartment here then on top we also saw the low voltage compartment which will have all the control circuitry and also the different indicators that are necessary uh, if required we can also put current transformers uh, or the voltage indication temperature sensors inside the cable compartment that facility is also uh, available then we saw the enclosure of course we need to have everything inside the enclosure we talked about that then we also discussed about the bus bar extensibility option so in case if you want to add more functions more switches more circuit breaker that can be done using this extensibility option that are there and in case some additional pressure develops inside the switch gear to protect that we have uh, the pressure relief arrangement at the bottom in this particular design of the ring main unit so i hope that helps you understand the different components that we have in the ring main unit if you found the video helpful then do comment helpful in the comment section and let me know that this type of content is helping you and of course a like would be appreciated as well now in one of my previous video i talked about what is ring main unit why we need them where we need them 
if you are interested in watching that also i'll put link for it down in the description and in general if you are interested in the medium voltage switchgear i have a custom playlist for that uh, again link for it is provided down in the description so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning